Hi, welcome to the last in this series of programmes we've been doing with um, Career Southwest for the National Career Service. This whole series of programmes has been to highlight the fact that careers education, that careers advice is there for everyone. We're very good at telling other people what they're good at, but you ask people, what skills do you think you've got? And they go, well, I'm not quite sure. And it's, there's all those skills we've got, and we forget the skills. We might have young mums returning to the workplace. We might have got people that have been out of work for some time. They forget what transferable skills they have. The skills, they have in, the skills you have in bringing up a family are so much in demand in today's workplace. Those teamworking skills, those communication skills. It's not always the traditional skills you think that, you know, have I got a, an MVQ in this or that? It's about have you got those skills to take on in life? I think the most important thing is to not lose confidence, really. You know, take whatever interests and skills that you've got throughout your life and hobbies and things. Um, you know, you can turn those into a job. You can then use that to, to go forward and, and get jobs, you know, yeah. and, and use that experience and whatever you've done. We do advise people to go on to our website. There's a thing what we call lifelong learning accounts. These are actually where we can actually do undertake some skills health checks. We can check what our skills are. We can check actually what our communication skills are like. If you've got this skill, this skill and that skill, have you ever thought about doing this and then that will then link through there's a whole range of there's over 750 job profiles with links to labor market information links to entry routes links to training information and it's the training and funding information that sometimes now is is at the core of everything that we do it's blowing away the myths really we're there for anyone that wants to move on in learning and work no matter the level no matter it might be to move on in in your job it might be to deliver it from unemployment into employment it might be how do I get that qualification to get those IT skills so I can Skype my grandchildren in, mm. in Australia? And Even issues like that, we will deal with. And I think the good thing is, is that you know, people quite often think, oh, it's a website, <coughs> it's an 0800 telephone number, I don't know where I'm calling. But the fact that you've got those local drop-ins, you know, you can go to Taunton, the people in there, they know the local job market. It, it's that personal connection that I think is still really important. So, Tom, you've just come out of the studio. How did it go? Very well. Uh, it's been a good year. Um, I think the whole idea of bringing careers, information, advice and guidance to the forefront um, through this project has been very worthwhile. It's been worthwhile to the National Career Service for raising the profile in the area to actually get the message across to people that, you know, careers advice is for everyone, not for just those that are out of work, not for just the 13 to 18 years, but it's for anyone that wants to move on in learning and work.